Hello, my name is Paul Nako, and I'm a board member and the treasurer for Mentor Colorado. I'm also a partner at the accounting firm KPMG. Myself and KPMG have the honor of being the presenting sponsor for this Minute to Mentor celebration event. KPMG's strong mentoring culture is propelled by our firm's ongoing commitment to high performance, continuous improvement, and lifelong learning, and made possible by the professionals and partners who serve as dedicated and enthusiastic mentors within our firm, as well as with the youth in our communities. Now, more than ever, it is absolutely critical that we stay connected with those in need of mentorship as we all come to grips with this new virtual and remote working and living environment we have experienced through the past several months. But with challenges also come opportunities. New opportunities to improve, enhance, and adapt to the new ways to be able to connect and provide continuous mentoring with those in need. Together, I know we can continue to make a difference and build on the successes we have achieved over the last several years around mentoring in this great state of ours, Colorado. Now, I'd like to turn it over to Hannah Krieger, the Executive Director of Mentor Colorado. Anna. Thanks, Paul. And thank you, KPMG, for being our presenting sponsor of the Minute to Mentor Celebration and for all of your support over the years. I also want to thank you all for logging on and joining us today. As you can see, I am in the Cable Center, where we had originally planned to be with you all in person. Unfortunately, we're not able to do that this year, but we are thrilled that you are with us virtually. And finally, I want to thank all of our sponsors for continuing to support youth mentoring during such challenging times. The work we do would not be possible without you. So thank you. Now, stick around. We have uh, an exciting door prize to give out at the end of today's session. We have a package that is for a backyard movie night, but you have to be present to win. So be sure to stick around for the entire thing. And despite not being able to gather here with you all, we did want to find a way to connect and share the importance of quality youth mentoring. So on August 24th, we launched the Minute to Mentor Challenge, which demonstrates that everyone has something to teach and everyone has something to learn. We asked you all to make videos sharing something that you could teach all of us and then challenge someone so that you could learn from them. And the results have been wildly entertaining and informative. We have videos on a wide range of topics, including Denver Mayor Michael Hancock talking about the importance of mentoring and the role it played in his life, to a seven-year-old who's teaching us about dog training. Our sponsors even got in on the fun and shared a little bit of wisdom from each of them. So I hope you've had a chance to see some of these videos. If not, we're going to share a couple later on in the show, but you also could go to the website listed on your screen right now and check out our video gallery. You can also go to our social media platforms and see a bunch of the videos that we've posted there. Over the last month, we've also been raising $25,000 as a part of a match challenge to raise a total of $50,000 to go towards quality youth mentoring across our state. Now, one in three young people are currently growing up without a mentor. That means they are growing up without a trusted person to guide them, support them, and listen to them. Now, it's not too late to donate to our challenge. If you go to the website listed on your screen right now, you can contribute towards increasing quality youth mentoring across our state. And when you make a donation to Mentor Colorado, it's going towards recruiting mentors, training for increased alignment with evidence-informed practices, and supporting mentoring professionals across our state. Every contribution matters and every contribution helps. Now let's learn a little bit more about Mentor Colorado and our National Mentoring Month celebration that took place in January of this year. When I was growing up, I moved every one to three years of my childhood, and I lacked connection to people, to geographic location, to my school, to my community, and mentors were really that connection for me. In my case, mentors made me feel connected to my community. They gave me confidence to try new things, to push myself beyond what I thought I could do. When kids are struggling with academics or maybe something in their personal life, mentors can be that rock, can be that consistent person. They can help them overcome obstacles and achieve their dreams and ultimately become a thriving, successful adult. My name is Hannah Krieger and I'm the Executive Director for Mentor Colorado. Mentor Colorado exists because one in three kids right now are growing up without a mentor. And our goal is to make sure that every young person has a quality mentoring relationship 
during their childhood. We are elevating the field of mentoring. We are recruiting mentors because the two big things that mentoring agencies lack right now are capacity and mentors. And so if we can help direct resources to mentoring agencies and we can help recruit mentors, then ultimately they're going to succeed and that's gonna help our young people. You know, what we know is that when young people have a caring, protective, mature adult in their lives, they do better. They certainly mature much better. They tend to graduate on time after doing well in school. They tend not to come in contact with the justice system, which is extremely important. And they tend to uh, grow to be more productive uh, citizens as adults. So it's extremely important that mentoring occur in the life of a young person. Being a mentor, you probably get more than you give in, in that relationship. And if you go to our website, comentoring.org, you can search for an opportunity that it's your, your interests, your availability. And if you can't be a mentor right now, we would encourage you to support mentoring across the state by making a donation. Hi, I'm Kyle Dyer, and after 20 years in the Denver TV news biz, I now run my own company, Kyle Dyer Storytelling. Everyone has something to teach and everyone has something to learn. And so today for my Minute to Mentor, I'm talking about listening. And I encourage anyone out there who's listening to me to consider sharing their own Minute to Mentor so I can listen to you and learn something from you. Or please donate $10 to Mentor Colorado. You know, I think everybody thinks they're a good listener. I certainly did being a broadcast journalist for so long. But I accidentally learned the importance of listening and the power it holds many years into my career when an accident forced my mouth to be sewn shut with stitches for 10 days. I couldn't talk, I had to only listen. And that was really extraordinary to only listen. And then when I could talk again, I was profoundly impacted by the amount of people who wanted to hear my story. They wanted to listen to me. It was really an awakening about how being deeply listened to makes you feel understood and appreciated. So now I make it my focus professionally and personally to deeply listen to others. Don't always be searching for that next topic of conversation when you're engaging with someone. Just let the conversation go. Maybe though you don't really agree with their way of thinking or their values. I say to that, listen even more deeply. Learning other people's perspectives is so valuable. When we listen to one another, we make a connection and that connection is so powerful. That is my Minute to Mentor. Thanks for listening. Hi, my name is Catalina. Everyone has something to teach and everyone has something to learn. Today, my Minute to Mentor is about dog training. I challenge my Aunt Annika to either donate $10 to Mentor Colorado or share her own Minute to Mentor so I can learn from her. Hi, my name is Catalina Angela Cali, and I want to tell you about dog training. The trick is to get a treat make them do a trick and if you start doing it over and over again then they'll do it right and you should have a happy voice voice and if you do if they do it right then you should reward them and pet them <laughs> Just like everybody else, the mentoring community has endured a lot of changes and challenges since COVID hit. But not surprising, these agencies have stepped up to meet the needs of our young people and their families. They've provided everything from rent and utilities assistance, to helping with food and transportation needs, to helping students get set up and supporting them through remote learning at their schools. Now, in addition to these services, the mentoring relationships that come from these programs provide vital connection for our young people, particularly as mental health concerns rise. Hello, my name is Drew DeMarie. 
Training Director with Mentor Colorado, and I get the privilege of offering you some advice on how to stay connected to young people in a time of disconnection. For that, I'd ask you to use your imagination for the next few minutes. Picture an airplane. For many of you, it's likely you've flown dozens of times before. Yet even for those who haven't, I'm sure you can imagine the following scenario. Think back to the first time you flew on a plane. Things are so new. The gust of air between the causeway and the door of the plane, the smell of jet fuel, the noise, the hurry up and wait, the scratchy feel of your seats as you finally found yours. You settle in, buckle up, and breathe a sigh of relief. Eventually, the flight attendants get up to give their safety briefing, and as they diligently walk through the seat belts and the oxygen masks and flotation devices, you listen attentively. <laughs> Maybe you even follow along in the safety pamphlet for more information. It's highly likely that on that first flight, you didn't need any of this information. Things went as planned, speeding you safely to your destination. So you fly again, and this time you pay a little less attention. And again, a little less. Until it's automatic. You don't even bother looking up anymore. So imagine you've settled into your latest flight. Perhaps you're thinking through a sales deck or the client services meeting you're flying to. Maybe you've got your headphones on listening to a podcast. Perhaps you're killing time with some mindless game on your phone. So the flight attendants get up to do their safety briefing before takeoff. How are you listening? Now imagine you're a few minutes into your flight when you hear the captain come over the intercom. First you hear, cabin crew, please remain seated. Then you start to notice significant turbulence and then more and then large bumps and dips in flight. People around you are beginning to get alarmed and the plane must be having serious issues. A few minutes later, after several more bumps and noises that definitely shouldn't happen now on a plane, you hear the captain return to the intercom and say, as you must be aware by now, we're having some serious difficulties controlling the plane. We're attempting an emergency landing in Cheyenne. We'll be landing in approximately eight minutes. We've got about as much control over this plane as we can get but we need to, you to understand that this is going to be a crash landing. We'll do everything in our power to get to the ground, but we need your cooperation. In a moment, the chief flight attendant will be getting on to give you safety instructions. How are you listening now? Like your life depends on it? If you wanna know how to connect with young people, this is it. Maybe it's that young person you mentor. Maybe it's a new employee in your department. Maybe it's the young athletes you coach at the weekends. Maybe it's your own kids. You wanna connect with them? Listen like your life depends on it. Put down your phone and stop stressing about the slide deck. Look them in the eye and don't be discouraged if they don't look back. Try to understand what's going on with them, not whether you agree or approve. Ask specific questions if you don't understand. Stop thinking about what you're gonna say in response. And most importantly, Show them that you care. This is how you listen like your life depends on it. Because maybe theirs does. Mentor Colorado is working with mentoring agencies to ensure that our young people still have this important connection, particularly during this time of increased anxiety, depression, and suicide. And we're also working with mentoring professionals to make sure that they have the support that they need as their roles have changed and they have to adapt to best serve our young people. We launched a new program, Virtual Coffee, for these professionals to come together, gather, talk about the issues that we're dealing with right now, and potential solutions. Now, some of the topics that we've been talking about include how to adapt programming to a virtual platform, keeping our kids safe in a virtual mentoring world, having conversations around racial injustice, and how to work with schools in this new environment, among many others. And with the help from the National Mentoring Resource Center, Mentor Colorado is providing free consulting to mentoring agencies to help them adapt and navigate the path forward. Now again, it's not too late to donate to our Minute to Mentor Challenge. We are raising $25,000 for a match challenge to total $50,000 to go towards quality youth mentoring in the state of Colorado. Go to the website on your screen right now and make your donation. Thank you. We'd now like to recognize the mentoring organizations that last year started going through our Continuous Quality Improvement Program, NQMS, the National Quality Mentoring System. 
This helps align programs and organizations with evidence-informed practices. Now, these organizations spent their first year going through an in-depth assessment and creating a plan. They've now completed the first year out of three, and they've spent, they're spending this year and next year working on achieving the goals laid out in their plan. Let's hear from them. The NQMS process allowed Big Brothers Big Sisters of Colorado to have an extensive review of our community mentoring program. Uh, we were able to have outside verification of the high quality and, and really thorough alignment of our program with the elements and best practices of mentoring. It was super valuable to not only me as the lead of the mentoring program, but for the organization in general, I think it really helped us culminate where we need to improve. And it also really helped us finish some big projects that were just sort of bubbling in the background. And I found it very useful. As we went through management operations and program evaluation, we even were able to see the places in program evaluation that we have a lot of work to do, which then allowed us to even uh, apply for TA uh, assistance later to be able to uh, continue to work on uh, the assessment um, priorities that came up. Mentoring demands quality from organizations. Um, that's what Full Circle has always believed. Um, young people naturally crave positive relationships. And as a community organization, we wanna give our youth a more well-rounded well skill set with the support of adults within our own community. Um, mentoring also provides adults with a sense of pride um, and attachment to their community. So once you have a quality mentoring organization um, and program, really your whole community thrives. I think that the value of mentoring and the value of um, being a mentor is one of the best kept secrets <laughs> that we have in Colorado. And that if we could do anything, sharing how important that is would be the best thing to do. Because there's so many kids out there who, even if they come from, you know, both parents at home, whatever, they still may not feel that they have that adult that they can go to. And so having someone they can go to is a really powerful thing. I think quality mentoring is important because it's about, because mentoring is, is about relationships. And when we think about why we mentor, we mentor to guide young people through life, uh, to help them reach careers, to help them reach personal milestones, to work through difficult times. And, you know, if that process, if the process of, or if that relationship with a mentor who's, who, whose job is to do all of that, or whose role is to do all that, if that's strained or if that's not quality or if that's compromised in any way, then the young person that we're trying to mentor and put on the right path, path could go off on the wrong path. The dirty secret of mentoring is when you tell people that you're mentoring or you have become a mentor or you're training to be a mentor is no one admits how hard it is. I mean, it is the hardest thing ever. When the first three to four times you sit down across from someone who you've been paired with and you're on a park bench or you're at a coffee shop or you're at school or you're on the field or wherever you are, what do you talk about and how do you engage and 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 quality mentoring matters because it, it it's how you overcome those challenges hi everyone i'm lindsay Callie with mentor colorado thank you for being here with us today we have a few calls to action we'd like to ask each of you the first being to consider becoming a mentor now, one of the first steps you can take on your journey of becoming a mentor is to go to the website that is across our screen, which will direct you to the Mentoring Connector. The Mentoring Connector is the only national database of mentoring programs. Once you're there, you'll be able to search programs by zip code, ages served, and different types of programs to be able to find a perfect fit for you. Please visit the Mentoring Connector today. Secondly, we'd like to ask each of you to consider making a donation to our Minute to Mentor campaign. This donation will help us on our mission to ensure that every young person throughout the state has a quality mentoring relationship. Please visit the website you see across our screen and consider donating to the Minute to Mentor campaign today. Thank you very much. We wanna say a huge thank you to all of our sponsors, including our presenting sponsor, KPMG. 
Thank you all for your continued support of youth mentoring. We are so grateful and we could not do the work we do without your support. Thank you. And we wanna thank all of you for logging on and joining us today virtually. We appreciate you spending your time with us. Don't hang up just yet. We are about to draw for our door prize, so hang tight.